Tamika Lee here, Garrett Hartley. We are in the heart of Uptown in a really popular local bar. Tracy's. Tracy's. And you know, it's so funny, I'm like walking around and looking around and I'm Look at you in your jersey up there. Uh-huh. I love uh, that. Back in my heyday, you back know, I, I think it might still fit. You still got it. Look, it's really cool in here, right? But it actually might be a little bit cooler outside. One of the most prominent streets magazine in New Orleans. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's take a little gander. Let's do it. Well, all right. It's so cool out here. We are with Jeff Carreras. Did you try to pound me just now? I can. You can? Look, if you pound him, look what you find. I know. You got that ring. Ring the ring. <laughs> diamonds. Hopefully, hopefully the diamonds knock off onto mine. They knock off into yours. I know. Well, look, we're at Tracy's. I mean, like I said, we're in the heart of uptown. And this is such a popular locals bar. Tell me why it's so popular. Well, it's just a great sports bar in general. Uh, you know, it's probably the only sports bar in the, in the uptown uh, part of New Orleans. So, yeah. You know. The only? Great, great. Well, one of the, the only. What, I mean, what, what makes it so special, right? Roast beef cold boys. Really? Cold beer. Cold beer. Cold Dixie beer. Cheers for that. And speaking of this neighborhood, Phil, and I know like in New Orleans, especially like we ran into some pretty famous people. I'm sure there's got to be one or two celebrities, like, like like Hollywood. A I mean, this is like ma magazine prime time. I can't talk about that. Yeah, no, everyone says they can't say. They, who. they can't say. I mean, you know, the best thing was one day we were sitting outside and just kind of I'm chatting with the gentleman and we, you know, hey, you want a beer? And I went and bought him a beer and you know, he introduced himself as Leo and I was like, oh, you know, nice to meet you, right. Leo. I'm Jeff and such and such. So just started talking and he took his hat off and then started realizing it's <laughs> looks familiar. Leonardo DiCaprio, DiCaprio and I was like he oh. just hangs out local yeah. neighborhood bar no, I mean just one of those fun days where you just anybody and everybody kind of just that's New Orleans for you one. right exactly I'm sure you get that a lot yeah you know and it's, it's several people come in and just you don't get bothered with it that's kind of like you if you go out in public I'm sure and people recognize you you Garrett we had, we had this, no, and seriously, because New talk. Orleans is just... Everybody loves Gary. You know, Garrett just like everybody Bob. loves oh Tracy. God, you kicked I know. Away, you kicked the Saints to the Super Bowl, you know? And hey, well, once upon a time... There's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I was at that game, and I, I cried. Aww. Literally. I typically don't take amusement in making grown men cry, but in that case... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making me cry, you my friend. You made grown men cry. You made everybody cry. <laughs> it's so funny, because walking in and seeing my jersey and realizing, hey, that... You know, the Saints were such a staple point for not just the city, but, you know, coming back after Katrina, things like that. Yeah. How were you all affected during the storm? Never thought in my mind that we weren't going to reopen. Right. It was just when can we reopen. Right. Kind of thing. And, you know, that's the spirit of New Orleans. It's just a great thing to all the, the, the little towns, the little parts of the city, like the Irish Channel here. Right. You know, just to come back and have that whole neighborhood feel uh, of, and have your bar open and part of that. Man, y'all are just like that comeback, you know, just like Dixie Beer. Y'all are making their comeback. They're coming back. They're going to be brewing locally again. And uh, I know they've outsourced it for a while, but just the fact that they're they're back. Y'all came back and established this place. Yeah. And, I mean, this is just a, a time-honored tradition here yeah. in New Orleans. No, and I'm glad Dixie Beer is coming back to New Orleans. I mean, it means so much right. to New Orleans. And when I was a kid, my grandfather, the first crab boiler, or, or first crab boiler, first crawfish boiler, always have a Dixie beer. He was a Dixie oh. drinker anyway. Okay. I love it. Yeah. Well, thanks for sitting with us. We oh, love sitting beautiful. outside. This is a beautiful location again. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you guys.